Hey guys, today I want to talk a bit about yesterday's Darkon social district update. So, let's get into this. I'm gonna start off by saying my view on this might be a bit surprising to some of you. I have not come bearing salt today. In fact, this update is a good thing. Let me explain. Sure, the helmets aren't something I'm interested in and probably would have looked way better if half your face was visible underneath. And sure, the aura looks like a joke for the amount of farming required. The cat ears are kind of cute, but I cannot wear them with my horns. I've seen a lot of people saying that this update is bad and lazy and I can definitely see from that point of view. However, this is an obvious quick time stretcher and I'm not even mad. See, I had a problem with the last few updates. Or rather, I was concerned that side quest development was taking away from main story or core development, which is what I believe AQ3D needs to ever get out of beta development hell. If your time stretchers take away time and resources from the thing you're stretching for, I don't think you're doing it right. But placing Darkon in the social district with a few helmets and some recallers probably wouldn't have taken much time for them at all, which is a good thing as a time stretcher. Think of it this way, if you like the new stuff, you get something to do while we wait for the next big update. If you don't, we just didn't get anything this week and we'll wait for next week. I've always said that I don't mind if they miss a week or two of updates if they're working on something big. If we're impatient and we keep calling for good meaningful updates every single week, then Everything will be half-assed. Now, things might turn out half-assed either way, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. Social district updates are its own kind of updates at this point, and we know exactly what to expect from them. And this update was entirely within expectation for me. Though, I think we probably should address the underlying issue of why people are upset when a time stretcher isn't a good update. Sure, some people are just unreasonably impatient. But I think the main issue is that every update we've had recently has just been fueling the salt. 1. Scaling a main story area. 2. Impossibly low RNG drops. 3. The free bank pet being disappointing to say the least. And of course other issues dating back before those. And I get it, I'm not happy with any of that either. But I think it's important to recognize that temporary time stretchers need to feel lazy for bigger, more permanent updates to be better. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't feel unhappy with the cosmetics, how mind-numbingly easy the boss is, or how much farming is required. But I am saying that this update just doesn't really matter. And we should probably encourage Lazy Time Stretcher if it means that better updates do matter. So that was it for this video. Let me know if you agree or disagree down in the comments below. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content. As always, a huge thank you to the members of the Dragon Court. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye guys!